Hello and welcome everyone to YouTube channel of DCC Nita. So now we'll be solving the problem find ex of code chef starters 82. Okay, so in this problem we are given four numbers a b c d such that a modulo b equal to c modulo d, and we need to find the smallest number x such that a plus x modulo b is equal to c plus x modulo d. Okay, so let's see what's the question all about. So we are given four numbers. Let's take an example first of all. If uh, uh, like a is 9, it is 4, it is 8, it is 7. So whatever number we take, it is given in the question. The four numbers which are given to us, it is given such that a modulo b equal to c modulo d. So we cannot take any random numbers. If we take any, uh, so our uh, input will be like uh, such that this 9 modulo 4 equal to 8 modulo 7. It is a modulo b equal to c modulo d. Okay, so it is 1. Right, in this question it is 1. So let us say this is m as m. Okay, now one thing to observe over here is like if we divide any number by another number, like if I am, I am dividing this number by 4, then the remainder will be obviously less than, lesser than 4. If I divide any number by 4, its remainder will be less than 4. Right, again here if I divide any number by 7, its remainder will be lesser than 7. Yeah. So, if I if this condition is true, then I can see that m modulo 4 is equal to m modulo 7 equal to m, right? And this m, because why it is true? Because m is smaller than minimum of 4 comma 7, that is b comma d, and it is greater than or equal to 0 right so these are the possible values of m that we can get from the question this we will get from the question we will simply calculate a modulo d or c modulo d we will simply calculate it let it be m okay so m is given to us a b c d if we all these are all the things we have till now okay now let's try out some observations let's calculate all the values such that suppose uh, y is any value for uh, like from 0 to any number 0 to infinity such that this condition holds like let's try for all the values of y for which this condition holds okay so if y is 0 this is true for 1 it is true for 2 it is true for 3 it is true for 4 it is not true because 4 modulo 4 is 0 and 4 modulo 7 it is 4 okay so this is not true so when we can try all the numbers now next value which will be giving us the remain uh, both uh, this equation 0 uh, equal to like 0 as well as uh, this uh, these two are equal it will be the LCM of both of these it will be 28 like LCM of 4, 4 and 28 uh, if I put 28 here it will also give me 0 it will also give me 0 now 29 will also give me 0 uh, giving me 1 but both of them will be same okay this condition is uh, this condition should be satisfied now 30 will also uh, satisfy this condition 31 will uh, again uh, uh, satisfy but 32 will not satisfy then again which will uh, you will satisfy it will be 56 57 58 59 okay then things move on like that but we we know that our m will be like what all numbers we have we have a b c d m okay and m will definitely be smaller than minimum of p comma d so m will be smaller than 4 and 7 like so what are the possible values of m we are having the possible values of m we are having as 0 1 2 3 okay these are the possible values of m okay so if we uh, if we take m equal to 0 okay and we need to find a number x which which is not zero which is a positive number okay we need to find a number x such that these two condition holds m plus x modulo 7 so if this is zero and this is zero then uh, now for what minimum value of x these conditions will be true for one for the next smallest value like i know the next smallest value will be 1 i will take the smallest value 1 
I will add one to it, and uh, it will work. Yeah. Let's see one modulo four equal to one modulo four. Yeah. It one modulo seven. Yeah. It works. So now, what if m equals to two? Now for one equal zero, it will work. For m equal to one, it will work. For two also work, but we will just see it. Now for two. Again, we take the smallest value of x. If that is one. Now, two plus one modulo seven. Now this is three. This is three. Now again, it is working. So let's see for the next value. So if I take now m equal to three. Okay. Now for m equal to three. Uh, this uh, this for the smallest number that we have is one. So if I take one, then will it work? And if I take one three plus one, then it will be zero. It will be four. These are not equal. So so we got some cases over here, right? Our possible values of m could be zero, one, two, three. It will be uh, from zero. Zero to minimum of uh, b comma d, it will be in this range, right? And if our uh, value is uh, like in this range, like if uh, uh, m plus one is not equal to minimum of b comma d, then simply x x equal to one is our answer, right? If two is uh, if we are having a m equal to two. Then we can just add one uh, x that is one to it, and it will be our answer, right? But if uh, this can be, uh, if m plus one equal to b comma d, like if m is three, then we need to see, like what is the, what is the answer, right? So for what next value we are getting the answer for next this is we can see like twenty eight twenty eight is the next value for which we are getting the answer, so. 28 modulo 4 equal to 28 modulo 7. It is zero. Like this is the next value, next smallest value for which which uh, we are getting this uh, remainder as same. So 3 plus x equal to 28, right? And x is 28 minus 3. It is 25. And what is uh, 28? 28 is LCM of 4 and 7 minus what is this? This is my m. This is 3. Now When I will apply this formula, when I will use this formula LCM of uh, b comma d minus m, when I will use this, when my m plus one, if it is equal to minimum of b comma d, then I cannot take like x equal to one because if if I take x equal to one. Then, uh, like this next number, which is four, it will be divisible. So we need the next uh, possible, uh, the next possible value, which is satisfying I condition. So it should be the LCM of four comma seven. So x will be for that our x will be LCM of b comma d minus m. And uh, one condition is this. This is case one, and in case two. If our values are zero one two, that is that is not equal to m. Uh, like m plus one is not equal to minimum of b comma d. Like it is not three. Then simply our x will be one. Okay. In these all conditions, our x will be this. And for this condition, x is this. Okay. These are the two cases. Uh, I hope it is well enough clear to you. You can even see the code. Code is you know all or uh, quite similar to what I have explained. and uh, yeah this is all about this problem i hope it is well enough clear to you uh, if there also if you are having any doubt then you can comment yeah thank you